What's up guys, NFJJ back at it with another video. I hope you do enjoy and if you like NASCAR videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Also, simply liking the video lets me know you are enjoying the videos I'm putting out. Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Peace. Right now, the biggest thing Clint Boyer in her two car has is. Oh, there we go. Round goes at 27. He got green coming up, and everybody gets behind. Boy, he hit the outside ball hard. Boy, I tell you what, Matt Kenseth just flat ran over him. That's about all I can make out of that. And just remember, we're quite sure that all David Green did possibly was just two right side tires. He did not have four fresh tires. None. Matt's got to look under him coming here and. I think Matt got his wheel, maybe got off of the track just a little bit and what started to wiggle and got into the back of David big time. That was that missed by inches being a big multi-car wreck. Yes, it did. That's a shame. Side early. Kyle Busch holding him off through one and two. Crash into one. Big crash for TJ Bell. Problems for the 11. Look at the damage to the back and front of that truck. Tom Dine got down on the inside of TJ, and TJ just kept coming over and over, trying to hold Tom Dine off, and uh, Todd wouldn't have, wasn't having any of it. I don't think TJ's too happy. Both ends of that red horse racing Toyota. Here's Todd, Go up through the gears, gets down to the inside, and just TJ was kind of moving his way over there, and Todd made contact just about before he it was oh, even time to get out. on the brakes. That was a big crash here at Martinsville. You don't tear one up much worse than that here. Good corners. Nice and smooth. Boy, nice calming voice from your spotter. Clint Boyer is less than a mile away from his first victory in 2007. Well, trouble the one car, J.J. Yaley, and right in the side is the 47 of John Wood, who had nowhere to go. One car, that's Elliott Sandler and the nine behind him. Here is J.J. Yaley going into the corner. Well, he just gets in a little bit too hot. Looks like he locked up the brakes. The rear brakes kind of took over and the car spun out and got in the wall. Just hard driving. Ooh, that's a hard, hard impact there. Last year, this race was run completely in the daylight hours and a big time collision between Brian Keselowski in the 26 crash and Colin Brown Mark Green in the 49 also involved and Brendan gone who was having a great run after starting 25th had worked his way up through the field Ooh, Brown up in the oh. wall looks like a looks like another failed right front tire the way the car shot here up. comes Keselowski bang Wow yeah and so we talk about this being a short track but that illustrates how fast a track is is you can't do anything quick you can't brake you can't steer left or right oh wow that's a hard impact and then you see sliding up on the top there comes menard it's and you an idea newman's doing everything he can to try to get some of those laps back oh ooh, ooh. That's oh he's around off the front of jeff green ryan newman caution and there's, oh, there's, and there's two the one car yep and vickers 83 uh -huh. matt kenseth the 17. A lot of good cars right there. I tell you, the one car doesn't look hurt right there, just at first glance. Flat tire. From the chopper, this is Newman, who's several laps down. And I'm going to say from that angle, Newman could turn left on the 66. I don't think that was Jeff Green's fault. They were already, Newman got a run on him, went to the outside, knew he couldn't get up into the leader. Obviously, he did not want to get into the 24 car. The sixth spot right now, uh, that's just a fast, fast race car. Oh, trouble here. We've got a big crash here. A lot of cars. The Lugano. 34 cars of Bernard. Half a dozen cars. John Andretti's involved. The seventh car of Robbie Gordon down there. Paul Menard, the 98 involved. Doesn't look like any chase cars are involved. Like he, yeah, just brushes the wall. Gets kind of bottled up behind him, but you see it uh, might have been a little bit of a chain reaction, but you see Sadler starts this, the big accident in the back. Yeah, I don't know if he got touched uh, by the seven car there or if, if he just got loose on his own coming up out of turn two. See the 98 car, Paul Menard, nosed into the wall. 34 of Andretti is there. Gary incident yesterday afternoon during practice. Jarek Johnson backing into the wall. His car erupting into flames. Luckily for him, he was able to escape without injury. And, of course, it was a week ago. Some In front of the 20 car of Logano. That is okay, Jeff Burton. Yellow's out in the backstretch. You're watching. Jeff Burton. 
impact coming at you. I just lost the guys. I'm sorry. Now, with that spin by the 29 car in contact with the wall, Clint Boyer will actually move up one more position. Eds, these guys have to drive these cars to get speed. You can see Jeff running the high line, just got away from him. He corrects it. it looks like he's got it under control, but all of a sudden snaps back. Hard hit into the outside wall. See uh, Denny Hamlin taking evasive action as well as the rest of the field. Yeah, he's sitting in a bad spot yeah. right there. Guys did a great job of avoiding him. Shows you how close the edge these guys are. Oh, man. There's no room for error there, you know. There sure is. Try and stay right there. You got to get to the checker flag. He's still rolling. The white flag is out. White flag in the air. One lap to go for Johnny Benson. Kevin Harvick looks like he's out as well. Kevin Harvick he's is weaving out, back and forth. Here out. comes he's Dennis out. Setzer now as Harvick runs out of fuel. He will pull yep, in right beside his team truck. And now it's all Johnny Benson working his way out of turn number four. Benson is going to win in Martinsville. Benson with that win will now take over the lead. Problems coming out of turn number four. Brendan Gaughan gets turned around. And what happened? This is the end of the race coming out of turn number four. Brendan Gaughan gets turned around. Brendan Gaughan was running in the top 10. He's running in 10th in spot. And Timothy Peters dropped back to 39th. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Man, hard impact by Brian Victor. Hold it up there. Just going to bring out the there. caution. I'm not so sure that wasn't bad news for Jimmy to try to lead a lap. Top of your screen. Man, Whoa. Tire just came That's a tire. Right Had to have run over something on the racetrack. You can see that right rear tire go. Man. Hard impact. All these guys, they can't save fuel. They're all running hard. They're getting pressed, so they can't coast a little bit. Oh, oh. Contact there. Oh, Tim George into Ron Hornaday. Around and crunch. Not sure if Villeneuve didn't catch a piece of that. Man, that's some damage on that side Team of the 21. Run out of two. A horn today. Ooh. Man, that was a close call for Villeneuve again. Yes, sir. You know, Andy, we talked a little while ago about these brakes. You saw the 98 Menard wheel hop, and you saw this just happen. These guys can't stop these cars right now. We were five wide off turn two at Texas. I'm talking about Ron Hornaday. Crazy Ron Hornaday slides to the top of the racetrack, trying to get by. Oh, look at that contact. The 81 of David Starr right gets into the 0 1 of Joe Aramendia. Jason, Justin wow. Lofton, and Lofton, Lofton gets also turned around as well. You got to watch the job that David Starr does in this crash. Caution's out, caution's out. Third caution of the night comes out. The 81 of David Starr, hometown hero involved, Joe Aramendia. David's going to try to go to the, his outside, and he, he was trying to get between the seven of Justin Lofton, and the zero one didn't quite make it. Now watch. Watch the 07 of Tony Jackson Jr. gets into Justin Lofton in the seven truck and turns him into the outside wall. Look, uh, David, David Starr still on. hadn't crashed. He was trying <laughs> to, he tried to all the way down the back straightaway, but he finally got ahead in the right direction. Just watch this 81 truck. He makes a mistake. He think I think he crowds up into Lofton, gets Lofton out of whack, spins into the 01, heads toward the outside wall, barely clips it. Watch, he keeps driving it, got it down to the bottom of the racetrack, kept going in the right direction. Big crash. And falling back on those last pit stops where they got four tires and gotten themselves back in traffic. Whoa, got some contact in the wall, goes Legacy. A pop from behind by Hamlin and a heavy damage now. Cars trying to get low down to Legacy, has no way to steer that car. What happened now? Watch the 32 coming up behind Legacy. Whoops. Well, yeah, you see some contact with Stephen Wallace and then Denny Hamlin has uh, really nowhere to go but into the back of the 11 car. Turns him right straight in the wall. So it was Wallace in the 11 initiated the contact. Now the guy you were bragging yeah. on, Andy, the blimp camera guy. Yeah, he was all over this one here. You see the battle with Stephen Wallace and Legacy, and they just get together. And there, Hamlin just can't quite react quick enough to keep from getting in the back of the 11 car. 
couple of drivers battling a lap down for position on the racetrack. Wallace been those guys being Dylan and Nelson PK Jr. Oh. in the fifth position. Oh, David Starr is sideways and Matt Crafton with a lot of damage as well. Our sixth caution of the night. Wow. That's a big break for Timothy Peters. Bad break for Crafton. Take another look at what just happened. Again, the 81 of David Starr oh, involved. something broke. Or, or a tire went down on the right front of that Zachary Toyota. Matt Crafton came along with, ooh, look at Narain Carthage can <laughs> barely get by there. That a nice so job close. by him to protect that great finish he has going. Isn't that just the way it is some nights? Matt Crafton's had so much trouble tonight, and right there, there's nothing he could do. The truck inside of him had a problem with the right front. Looked like it might have blown a tire. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. The next video will be out soon, so make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss a single video. This is NFJJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.